<sighs> that took so long. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin now. Okay, by the way, I might look a little down sometimes because um that's where my script is. So I thought I'll give you guys a heads up if I don't actually look into the lens uh sometimes because I am reading and this is my first time. So today I will be reviewing um three films for you that I watched in the recent past. All three are Bollywood films. So the first film that I will be reviewing is Kahani 2 starring Vidya Balan and Arjun Rampal. Uh to begin with, I want to say that both of them did an absolutely brilliant job. I genuinely really enjoy their acting in the film. The first half of the film was definitely more gripping than the second half. In the first half, I felt that the relationship between Vidya and her daughter, I could see that relationship grow and I really enjoyed that. I also kind of understood understood the intricacies of the relationship and you felt more connected to the characters. This was extremely important because when the conflict arose, I felt like I was attached to the character so I could actually feel bad for. Arjun Rampal played a really really good cop and as he unraveled the mystery and he dealt with his own secrets, you felt that you You are a part of that entire ambience. You felt like you're a part of that small town next to Kolkata. The second half, however, um, was definitely a bit of a letdown. Not because of the acting or the direction, but perhaps because of the script and its predictability. The script was definitely very predictable, where you could simply guess the next sequence and you just knew what's going to happen. I also felt like the the ending was almost. Um, how would how do i put this the ending felt almost forced because the director did want to bring in a twist in the end so it almost felt like oh we must give the audience a aha i felt like the build up was so high that in the end when the twist came and i already knew what's going to happen it sort of was a let down for me but nonetheless it's a very very interesting watch um at least the first um first half and maybe a little more than that is a very interesting watch you are gripped on to the story to the extent that i wanted to go to the zoo and i didn't so cuz i knew that if i miss even a second i'll miss out on the suspense and the mystery which i guess is a good this film i would be giving you a 3.5 on 5 i just thought that giving a rating might help um you guys to analyze the film better whether you want to go for it or not the second film that i want to talk about is befikre i want to make sure that i actually pronounce um befikre right cuz what if it's like befikr okay i got the pronunciation it is befikre also i don't know what to do with my hands when you're sitting down and just talking what do you do with your hands oh by the way how do you like my sleeves are they so cute they have the little tie on things here i thought they were really pretty okay anyway so <laughs> befikre i am so distracted because that's how much it sucked it is horrifyingly bad <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. It's a modern take on millennial love and it's the whole idea about it's very similar to friends with benefits. Uh but it's just so let's with a calm mind try and review Befikre. Um Befikre um the first half of the film is ridiculously pointless. I do not understand the idea of the dares that Shaira the character gives to Dharam the male lead um it makes no sense in any city in the world you cannot possibly co- slap a cop and get away with it or do the stupid things that you're doing and get away with it it genuinely doesn't make sense the second half however surprisingly was not as bad as the first half i felt like the film did manage to escape the curse of the second half but nonetheless um I mean considering the entire film was a snooze buster not like not like you have much to compare it with the second half tries to explore the complexities of friendship and love tries to go into the phenomena of kya pyar dosti hai is friendship love is love friendship i thought that became a little interesting there's an entry of a third character that was probably the only part of the film that i was like oh okay i'm starting to enjoy this a little bit and then came the final act I wanted to break my head onto the wall like I couldn't believe why I'm sitting there and watching this rubbish like the final act or the last 20 minutes of the film were imagine houseful 3 or houseful 2 or whatever that film is like worse than that at least houseful doesn't 
claim to be some sort of a perfect rom-com at least it gives itself off as a comedy whereas this was just bizarrely bad it had a couple of humorous moments it had a couple of fi- okay moments that you, you were like okay fine the music was average it was nothing that i'm going to remember one or two good songs but it wasn't even a time pass romantic comedy you know one of the swims that you'll just watch on a lazy day in no i would not watch this on a lazy day in because i do not want to waste my time so basically i mean which is i would give it like a 1.515 cuz i genuinely hated it so the third film i'm going to be reviewing or talking about is dear zindagi i really like this film uh, that's the first thing i'm going to say before beginning the review and this is why uh, the film uh, delves into raw emotions it delves into issues that we really really need to discuss in today's society and it does that in a fairly subtle way let's begin with the problems that the film has. Uh, the relationship between the protagonist, that is Alia, and Shah Rukh Khan, which is a therapist, is a little strange. It is a fairly too unconventional, which is fine. That's fine that they want to try and bring something new, but I genuinely felt that it is a little hard to believe. Nonetheless. um i thought that the emotions that they shared together whether it's a walk on the beach or cycling through the streets of goa it felt very real in its own way it might have been a little unconventional but it still one could still as a viewer connect with those emotions which i thought was nice secondly i really truly enjoyed alia's and shahrukh khan's acting in the film where both of them were extremely convincing in their roles alia bhat especially during her breakdowns her character molding was absolutely brilliant uh, what i did enjoy the most was the build up to the conflict of why is she like this that was i think extremely well done in the film where you as the audience was waiting to know what happened to her what what has led her to feel like this but the problem lay in the fact that when the reveal actually happened it was just an absolute let down the reveal was just not convincing it felt like almost something more that you were waiting for and what you ended up getting was something very little so i obviously don't want to go into heavy spoilers but you will understand what i mean when you actually watch the film and if you have already watched it uh, what are your views on this because i really felt like it could have the reveal could have been much more however nonetheless uh, ignoring this part of the climax and actually delving into the relationship and talking about issues like depression i thought were extremely important and extremely well done so i'll go with 3.5 on 5 for dear zindagi anyway guys that is the end of my three reviews i thought i'll just make one video cuz um i wasn't sure if you guys want to watch more reviews but if you did enjoy this and you think that you'd probably want me to do more uh do let me know and i will start doing this as a regular segment on my channel or perhaps as a blog post whatever you prefer your feedback means a lot to me so please do write back please do talk to me i'm always available and let me know what you would want to see and what film did you like out of these three the most i am a little confused between their zindagi and kahani 2 but perhaps um i liked both but I, what i know i did not like was befikri please do not go waste your money and watch that the only reason i did not walk out of the theater was cuz it was snowing outside in new york city so i did myself a favor by sitting in but i feel like that was a wrong decision so until next time i will see you in the next episode of vlogmas bye